Hard to think about some rotten weather when you have such beautiful weather conditions right now. Vulcan overlooking downtown Birmingham and the Magic City skyline. Not a drop of rain on our WVTM 13 live Doppler. In fact, it stays that way for the rest of the work week. A little bit more cloud cover starts to stream into this afternoon and evening, so it will make for a really pretty sunset. Looking ahead, though, check out this temperature disparity. It's 92 in Lubbock, so a massive cold front is going to sweep eastward as we head towards the weekend. Now we're going to be on the tail end of that system, so we will see some rain, some thunderstorms. There may be even some brief damaging wind, and there is a very low potential for tornadic activity, but it's something we're going to monitor. 70s and beautiful, right on target with seasonal averages. So tonight, Beautiful, mostly clear, about 49 degrees, 715 sunset time. But let's gear up for what's going to be happening in your set next seven days. So tomorrow, just fine, 80 degrees, a little bit above average. Same goes for your Friday afternoon with more cloud cover too. But we start to see the changes in the forecast once we move into Saturday. That's when those big changes will arrive. We do have a low tornado threat, but it's still there. We can't rule it out and wind damage still one of the main concerns here because as that front pushes through, we know from previous weeks, once that line pushes through, it can be very brief damaging wind, but it's something you want to monitor flooding risk. It's there too, and it's one of the higher risk factors with wind damage and potentially some flooding in the poor drainage areas and maybe some of the low lying areas and that's going to linger into your not just your Saturday, but even into uh, portions of the deep south as we head towards Friday night, we'll be looking at it. The rain forecast looks cloudy into most of Friday, but then by Saturday, that real soaking rain starts to pick up and then it starts to exit as we head towards early Sunday morning. So I don't think that neither Saturday or Sunday will be complete washouts, but I think Saturday night into Sunday morning, we'll be looking for some soaking spots and definitely monitoring our WVTM 13 live Doppler uh, minute by minute. It's all in real time. We'll have